Thank you, Melissa. We continue our weekly look at matters of faith. Faith time. Joining me this morning is Sheree Shaw Lovett with the National Day of Prayer. She is the State of Alabama Coordinator. Thank you so very much for joining us this Thank morning, Sheree. Thank you, Chad, for having us. All right, first of all, National Day of Prayer. That's coming up this Thursday. For the people that don't know, what is it? National Day of Prayer uh, is a... Um, resolution that was put in by Congress 1952 President Harry Truman signed it into law that we are able to have a national day of prayer in our nation now President Ronald Reagan designated the date May the, uh, the, the first, first Thursday, Thursday in May. every yeah. May so yes is where all over our nation, the United States, come together, Ju Judeo Christians come together and calling out to God for our nation in prayer. And like you said, this goes back to 1952. Yes. It's been around for more than 60 years. Yes. Why is it so important? This is so important. As you know, uh, our chair, Shirley Dobson, has made it plain to us on last year when we were there in Colorado for our leadership conference. This year, the 65th year, is so important. As you know, this is an election year. And as Christians, we need to be praying, seeking God appealing to heaven for our leadership in our nation. Now tell us how it's going to be observed in Mobile. What's planned for Thursday? Uh, not only uh, prayer will be going on at the different churches location, but as Mobile County will come together as a county, uh, we will have a parade walk prayer starting at the Civic Center. Uh, we will go all the way uh, from Conjus, I think, in Joachim, and surround the government plaza, and then head to Bienville Square. I was looking at the National Day of Prayer website, and one of the interesting things on it is uh, a suggestion of how to pray mm -hmm. for the country. How do you pray for the nation? Uh, what we have a mandate to do uh, in recognizing uh, National Day of Prayer as coordinators to make sure the seven center of powers are covered, starting with the families, the body of Christ, government officials, our military uh, forces, first respond, responders, education system, our economic system, even for you all, media and entertainment. <laughs> <laughs> and that's one of the interesting things that I, I notice about prayer sometimes. Even even our pastor, you know, you don't necessarily have to agree with the politicians in power. Absolutely. But often you, you, you pray for you them. You pray, uh, according to Second Timothy, pray for those who are in authority. That if their heart not turn right, but we can pray and touch heaven that God would give them the wisdom concerning his people that we may live a quiet and peaceful life while we're here on earth. And if you wanted to be involved in this, what time is that going to happen on Thursday, your walk? Uh, the walk will start, we will start gathering at the Civic Center at 5 o'clock, 5 p.m. So we're asking all pastors, bring your churches, bring your banners, bring your uh, flags, uh, uh, the floor high school will be a part of Christian uh, high schools would be a part so we're asking all who believe in the power of prayer please come and join us of all the things that you could pray for Thursday what do you think is the most important thing to pray for uh, the most important thing to pray for uh, that we really want to focus on is our government officials at this time and of course definite for Alabama um, uh, for our government officials and our leaders. All right, Cherie Shaw, love it. She is the Alabama coordinator for the National Day of Prayer. We thank you thank so you very Chad, much for joining for us. Thinking about us. That National Day of Prayer coming up on Thursday, and News 5 this morning will continue after the break.